Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, May 8th. Cold frontal system passed through the mid Atlantic region in the overnight hours today. Will turn out to be a little bit cooler than yesterday in DC, Philadelphia, New York City. Lots of clouds around and low level flow from off the Atlantic Ocean will keep it moist and cooler than yesterday. And it'll stay somewhat unsettled over the next 24 to 36 hours or so as that same frontal system meanders around the area. Then a cold front arrives on Friday. That looks like that'll be preceded by a warm-up well up in the 70s in the I-95 corridor by uh, Friday afternoon, but it will also uh, feature some showers and thunderstorms. Breaking the action for Saturday, the weekend starts off on a pretty good note, it looks like, in the mid-Atlantic region, but then, similar to last week, and it looks like a soaking rain event is on the table for Sunday into Monday. That's Mother's Day Sunday into Monday of early next week. Lots of moisture in the southwestern U.S. will pull out to the north and east and arrive in the mid-Atlantic region during the latter part of the weekend. Let's take a look, first of all, at the surface map. Lots of players on the field, and when there are lots of players on the field this time of the year, uh, generally it will be a pretty active weather pattern, and indeed, copious amounts of rainfall for much of the nation over the next uh, five to ten days or so. We uh, posted a blog yesterday about how there's plenty of cold air still around in the northern hemisphere. This time of the year, with cold air outbreaks still penetrating into the middle latitudes, that spells uh, an active weather pattern with storminess and even severe weather. Yesterday there was some uh, tornadic activity in the middle part of the country, and that's kind of been a battle zone with cold air outbreaks to the north and west and warm and humid air to the south and east, and it'll continue to be the battle zone for the foreseeable future. Here's a surface map. That cold front caused some showers and thunderstorms, especially north of the Mason-Dixon line in the overnight hours. It is slowing down is in its advance to the south and east. It will stall out, keep us unsettled for the next 24 to 36 hours. So basically a low-level flow of air out of the northeast now has developed in New York City, Philadelphia, and even in D.C. And that uh, comes off the cool ocean this time of the year. The Atlantic Ocean is still quite cool. So we'll drop some 10 degrees or so from yesterday's highs to this afternoon's <laughs> excuse me, high temperatures thanks to that high pressure system cutting across southeastern Canada. Meanwhile, upstream, another cold frontal system. This is the one that arrives on Friday. Looks like that will be accompanied by some showers and thunderstorms. Lots of rain in the middle part of the country and another threat for some severe weather later on today and tonight in that battle zone region between cold air masses to the north and west and warm and humid air coming off the Gulf of Mexico into the southeast. Here's the latest radar loop from WSI's and telecast.com. Lots of rainfall in the middle part of the nation. Again, they had some severe weather late yesterday and in the overnight hours in this part of the country. Notice the blues here. Still have snow, accumulating snow. Over the next 24 hours or so, certainly can be accumulations from Wyoming down across Colorado into the northern part of New Mexico. Denver could get some snowfall late tonight and on Thursday. And again, with all that cold air uh, piled up to the north and west, that spells trouble, spells a wet pattern continuing for the eastern two-thirds of the nation and the continuing possibility of some severe weather, tornado outbreaks as well. A couple of showers upstate Pennsylvania right now. For the most part, today will be a rain-free day in Philly, New York City, D.C., there certainly can be a shower at any time or even some patchy drizzle with that low-level flow of moist air off the Atlantic Ocean. Well, let's take a quick walkthrough of the forecast maps from last night's 6E GFS model run. We're looking at 500 millibar height anomalies going forward. Lots of blues showing up here across the nation. That means upper level low. That spells trouble, some severe weather, certainly a wet pattern. Today it's centered over the uh, southwestern part of the nation or the, the Rocky Mountain states. And again, cold enough here for some accumulated snow in places like Wyoming down across the Colorado Rockies, even into northern New Mexico. Even the Sierra Nevada mountain range in eastern California will get some more accumulating snowfall over the next couple of days. And that, of course, is piling on top of what massive amounts they received over the past winter season. 
ridging here in the eastern U.S., but again, these uh, upper level wood flow here basically from west to east and the frontal systems at the surface are just aligning with those upper level winds and stalling out and that keeps it unsettled here in the mid-Atlantic region despite high pressure in the upper part of the atmosphere. Let's keep moving forward here into the latter part of the week. Not much rainfall expected in the uh, mid-Atlantic region today, tonight, tomorrow, and even tomorrow night, the, the, the best chance for more significant rain holds off until Friday with that cold frontal system. And here we go now into Friday morning. Lots of upper level lows uh, extending from northern plains all the way across the uh, southwestern U.S. And let's move forward here. And what happens is all of this moisture in the southwestern U.S. comes our way. And here we are now by late Sunday, Sunday afternoon, Upper level low setting up here across the Great Lakes region, the Ohio Valley, and it's starting to look more and more like Mother's Day. It could be a wet day in much of the uh, mid-Atlantic region. Uh, in some fashion, similar last weekend where Saturday was the better day of the two weekend days, and Sunday uh, presented a soaking rain event. Looks like this will kind of hang around into the early part of next week, and certainly that uh, spells trouble for Monday as well. There can be a rainfall from Sunday into Monday of next week as this active weather pattern continues. Well, now let's take a look at the surface forecast maps from last night's Zixi GFS model run. High pressure here over southeastern Canada. That is helping to produce this low-level flow of air out of the northeast. Winds flow clockwise around highs, and the low-level winds are coming out of the northeast in Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, D.C., off the cool Atlantic Ocean, some 10 to 15 degrees cooler this afternoon compared to yesterday afternoon with that low level flow of air. The wind shifted overnight with the passage of that cool frontal system. Lots of moisture out in the middle part of the nation and snow in the higher elevations of Wyoming, Colorado later on today and tonight into the day on uh, a Thursday, maybe in some snow falls across northern New Mexico. Let's keep moving forward here. Look at that snow out near Denver, perhaps just west of Denver, but even Denver could get some accumulating snow. Mainly rain-free here in the Mid-Atlantic region next 24 to 36 hours or so. Then that cold front starts to become quite active. This is now the Thursday morning forecast map with lots of moisture across the uh, Great Lakes region, down across the uh, Ohio Valley. Let's move forward here, and again, not much rainfall here, even Thursday night ahead of the cold frontal system. Late Thursday night, and then especially during the day on Friday, we'll have a band of showers and thunderstorms. Not a total washout on Friday, but there can be some brief heavy downpours, maybe even a strong thunderstorm or two as that cold front arrives. Notice lots of moisture hanging back across the uh, Four Corners region, and that will be pivotal for the latter part of the weekend. Here we are now by Saturday morning. Front pushes on through. It looks like Saturday itself could be a pretty decent day in much of the Mid-Atlantic region with high pressure and moving overhead, but temporary break in the action. Here we go by the uh, latter part of the weekend now by Sunday morning. Notice all the moisture starting to flow to the north and east, and it looks like not only is there a threat of some rain on Sunday, but on Monday as well, here we are by Monday morning, still low pressure near the mid-Atlantic coastline. So a, a, a wet end of the weekend is appearing more and more likely. Looks like that wetness can continue from Sunday into Monday. So a continuation of this wet, active weather pattern. A large part of the nation will receive copious amounts of rainfall over the next 5 to 10 days or so. That's it for now for PerspectiveWeather.com. I'm meteorologist. Paul Orion.